Regards to the Man in the Moon by Ezra Jack Keats What's up, Lily? Why so sad? Barney asked. The kids are laughing at me. Laughing at you? Why? Well, come on now. You can tell me. I'm your pop now. Well, Louie said, they call you the junk man. Junk? Barney growled. They should know better than to call this junk. All a person needs is some imagination. And a little of that stuff can take you right out of this world. What do you say, Louie? Want to give it a try? Louie and his parents got to work. What's going on? the kids asked. I'm going out of this world, Louie answered. The kids snickered and nudged each other. Is that Voyager 3? they laughed. No, he said. It's Imagination 1. Well, don't run out of gas. Regards to the man in the moon, they kidded. Are you going out there all alone? Susie asked. Can I come with you, Louie? Can I? Well, that depends. Got lots of imagination? He asked. Oh, yes, she said. And, and I'll bring cookies, too. Hmm. Okay. Be here early tomorrow. The next morning, they climbed aboard. Ready when you are, Susie shouted. Okay, then, yelled Louie. Blast off! They held their breath. Way out in space, they opened their eyes. We did it, Susie gasped. They stared down at planet Earth. Everybody we know is down there, and we're all alone up here. I'm scared. Me too, Louie whispered. They floated past strange and wondrous things. And on through worlds no one had seen before. Suddenly they were jolted to a halt. Help! Help us! They heard familiar voices cry. It was Ziggy and Ruthie. We decided to follow you, Ziggy cried. But we've used up all our imagination. We're stuck. We can't move. Don't untie us, please. Or we'll never get home. Let go, Susie yelled. Or we'll be stuck out here forever. You can only move on your own imagination. Let go, will ya? Louie cried. There's a rock storm headed this way. We'll be smashed to bits. They're not rocks. Can't you see? They're monsters, Ziggy moaned. They're coming to capture us. We'll never see home again. Monsters, said Susie. Now you're using your imagination. They began to move. You're doing fine now, Susie called. So let go. You'll do better on your own, and so will we. But Ziggy and Ruthie were so scared, they just hung on. They dug this way, and that, and over and under, and upside down. Finally, the storm passed, and they headed for home. Wow, Ziggy joked nervously. Wasn't that fun? Yeah, we sure scared those monsters, Ruthie bragged. Wish we could do it again. And they thought, Louie said, that they used up their imagination. They were getting close to home when Ziggy finally dropped the rope. The next day, they told everybody about their adventures. Soon, all the kids were ready to take off. <laughs>